What's up guys, Steve here today. Um, we're going to talk about we are in the part 3 of Mac OS 10 optimization in VMware. Today, I'm going to talk about how to uh, make this Macintosh here faster. So as you can see, um, the uh, effects are quite, you know, are fast, but when you launch the launch pad, it's going to be really slow, take about like minutes to uh, be done and so because of the VMware here so the options you know because uh, of the SNC version uh, equals zero if you change the HW of the VMware to be zero um, it would not affect the performance um, it would not like this you know so as you can see and um, so there are two options to do with this. Uh, so the first one you need to download the latest version of VMware tool. So um, let's go ahead and do this. Click on the player, removal device, CD, DVD, CATA, settings. Use can use ISO image file, and you need to locate that Darwin that ISO. I will post the uh, download link in the description below, and we'll open. And click on connected and click OK. After that, you see a VMware tool open up and you install the VMware tool, and everything is going to be. Um, and uh, you will have the full screen like me, and also sleep and all those uh, functionality are going to be working on um, as it uh, should on uh, the real hardware. So, um, so, um, so this is the uh, first step on Mac faster. The next one you need to you need to download the software update of Mac OS 10. So as you can see, in about this Mac, I can see this is 10.11, 10.11, 10.11.1, 10.2.3. You need to go do is click on the Mac App Store, click on the update, And uh, download, you don't need to download software update, you don't need to download those uh, things here. You don't need to download the camera or cover update or the normal form of file. Just download this. Okay. Um, because, now, because download here is going to be slow and like unreliable, I'm going to download through my uh, Apple support website right here. Um, through uh, OS 10 10.11.4 Compo update. Put on click on the Apple Swabber.com and you click on the download and um, it should download for you. It's should fast and you see the um, OS 10 uh, up com update combo 10.11.4. <laughs> And then you need to drag this to the um, firmware here. Now, uh, if you down, if you install VMware tools, you you will be able to drag uh, the file from your host to this um, virtual machine. You have to install VMware tools in order to do this. You have in order to drag files from your real hardware to the virtual hardware. So. It's going to copy the file. It'll take a little bit because this uh, is like 1.8 gigabyte, so it's really large. This is, this is the update combo, but it's all take about almost two gigabyte. But the OS 10 itself got six or seven gigabyte.
And it should have the uh, OS 10 Campo 10.11.4. And um, you need to go um, now delete the email so it's red. You can actually delete yourself that on your real hardware because I have only 816.8 gigabyte free. So. Okay, so let's get back to my homework and need to extract it with the DMG file. Skip this. Okay, then you have the OSN update compo 10.11.4. Need to uh, open up the package and all those things. Go to the terms, store. That password if you has if you have and you need to restart the computer but after the complete of this installation so you continue once done you need to restart you will be asked to restart the computer now uh, some of you ask if beam off work. Um, beam off work on Yosemite, which is going to boost your um, Mac because Yosemite is so slow on VMware. But the problem is, uh, beam off does not support OS 10.11 or Capri 10. So um, you have to use another method like clean my Mac or maybe even um, download this version of a VMware tools or download software update of El Capri 10. Okay, that, that short. Click on restart to um, finish or to restart and you should still see the mouse so the installation will appear. Installing a soft update. It take really long, so you go ahead and uh, skip this. Okay, so after it's done, it will restart your your machine again and um, it should work so you can see and as you can see uh, the bootloader I don't see the bootloader anywhere um, I think it's gone um, okay so I do have to um, figure it out So um take a little while. Okay, so um, this is how um, it's able to go to the uh, boot to OS 10. So we may not see uh, the bootloader from Jeffrey anymore, um, but we can live without it. You know, like uh, bootloader is not that like important to me. Uh, so. Um, So, uh, thank you for watching this video. So, that's how you're going to make your Mac uh, faster 
um, you have two ways uh, you can install VMware tools and uh, install the latest software from Apple if you already have that um, so that's a password so we go ahead and uh, set up that okay so um, should continue and we have uh, terms condition let's read that as well set up account Okay, we set up a uh, key chain, but set up later. This is a set up from the uh, stock one. So we set up new Mac. Wait for the 10.11.4. Um, okay, so. Now, uh, when you're here, you can um, drag it to the trash. And uh, let's see if our Apple thing I see works to have it. If a uh, system for has system library uh, core services, and we go to resources. Um, but um, check out about this Mac. And we still have to set now. Okay, so that's the uh, thing. You can do the um, one I show you the part two again. Um, you know because of the uh, that the had we gone English and you see no here. So you can actually download download the Clover configurator and you just go ahead and um, uh, do it again like. So we're going to show you the um, uh, correct configurator again. So, so I'm doing it with you, so I'm not going to skip it now. So, We're lucky to do that. Okay, so once you down, if you down install the uh, template level four update, you're going to lose uh, the uh, bootloader, and it will result is you, you have this unknown here. Uh, so you need to. Um, do the uh, cover again just by uh, down release version or as well as the um, champ million wizard here now I actually uh, in go into the champ wizard yesterday and and this does not work, so I have to change the link. But now it's uh, work again, so um, you can actually go in osf86.net files file 467 million wizard download 4.4.1. Okay, so it's uh, updated to 4.3.1, so it's going to be good. So we work um, on the new Mac, uh, even though it's 2015. MacBook or the uh, iMac. And now uh, you should have your. Yes, type the modify here. 
and drag it inside here it will not lose the VMware tool so you'll see it's still full screen and um, you should install this for your graphical configurator and as well as the uh, Chimillion Wizard 4.3.4 also tell you that the latest version is 4.3.4 so we have both applications right here and now we'll open up Clover configurator we need to enable um, download from anywhere inside security and privacy inside of your system preferences and you should click on the amount EFI uh, open partition uh, or amount or yet and click on EFI, Clover, Config, PLIS. Oh no, uh, not the. You need to open it as the um, uh, text edit. So. Okay, so we scroll down. We see our MacBook Air. Okay, MacBook Air. And um, so that's done. So uh, you need to install it again because um, to make this like a unknown, to make it the, the Wi Fi i7 processors. So you need to do that is open the partition again. And um, you know I I always forgot things. To must have the SM BIOS, but I don't know where it is. Still looking for the SM BIOS dot PLIS, but I don't know I don't have where it is, and also the um. The way I showed you earlier does not have uh, the uh, system info dot p string, so I cannot show you how to change the core processors. So um, that's the way. Um, need install the uh, boiler again to make this uh, completely and uh, the core i5 i7 processors. Um, but um, again, thank you for watching the video. I feel this Mac is faster now, and. Um, Thanks for this video and see you guys in the next video.